What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, uh, we were attacked by an Austrian force and it's given us quite an interesting opportunity to knock out, or at least severely damage, a number of enemy armies joining the field. Um, so without further ado, let us set up and engage. For whatever reason we ended up getting... Uh, getting beaten up behind the lines to fill in and also this is advantageous because it would use our seven forces to weaken the uh, the troops around draw from this fight um oh this is pretty so we've got right this is a bit of a funky deployment zone why is it long and thin rather than short and fat okay let's plop down a set of guns deploy some of our infantry so I'm a bit cagey because that's a bit odd so let's deploy three units of line around a set of guns Let's deploy. Come on, there we go. Let's deploy our howitzers out to provide support. Then let's keep. Uh, just deploy, yeah, one too many on that flank. Okay, let's get our. Okay, let's keep one unit of guns behind. Because it is a bit odd when you see funky deployment zones. Okay, it's deploy our melee infantry behind the lines. Sipahi out on the flanks. I mean, I don't know why I'm getting this funny right-click problem again. Uh, general on the centre. These guys, I'm not, it's not so bothered. I'm not so bothered about deploying these guys out because they're going to get stretched out anyway. Um, okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. When in doubt, guys, just stare at the map. Um, if you're not sure about how things are going to uh, end up, stare at the map. So, this army to the f this army to the front doesn't not exist. These guys limber up and probably strengthen that unit of the line there. You guys need to get over here. Rapido. Thank Christ, my howitz has picked good targets automatically. Um, well, they're probably like one firing at the Prussians and one firing at the Austrians. Push one unit of Semat Janissaries there. Push another unit here. You guys drop into square formation. Let's get my Sipahi further out on the line. At least we'll get to deploy square against this regiment of horse. I mean, actually, this might be quite advantageous to just pummel these guys with quicklime shot because they're so... Okay, you guys don't fire. Get my Semats there in to engage. Realistically, what I want to do is push these guys out like that to provide some space for my gunners too bad the curacia guards we got deli horsemen to engage those guys there with semat janice are charging Onward there. Okay, this battle's getting a bit out of control. Get my gunners up to engage the Prussian forces. Got some quicklime coming in against me, so let's get my Delhi horsemen out of there. Semat on my Janissaries, get back into line, see if you can 
lure them to engage. Uh, how it says, just keep pummeling these guys. It looks like they're actually struggling to get onto the field. The Austrians may cause some extra problems, but I've got to try and hold the line against them rather than actually win. Who are you? Marines over there. Okay, I want... Get my light cavalry back here. You guys pull back a little bit. And you guys start to pummel... People that are coming in. Fighting against the... Prussians is the priority. Because they're actually weakened from those initial quicklime hits. Right. You guys get back. Because my Janissary Musketeers... Well, my Sipahi inside the line... I want to keep my cavalry mobile. Get one unit of Sipahis in to intercept this unit here. You guys drop into square because that's a unit of Hussars coming in. I am leaving my howitzers quite exposed in this regard. So we're now being engaged. Gunners, get back to manning your guns. These guns are uh, they're just going to come into. Uh, they're just going to come into canister shot range. Semats there, just in case they get charged. My infantry should be good enough to take these guys out. Because look at how many have died, have died back here from Quicklime. But now is the time to start to deploy them. Start to deploy them against the Prussians. You gunners, you man... Man your guns! Hopefully we can knock out this general's bodyguard. It would be nice if they died, but... Can't have everything, can we, darling? Cressiers, let's go knock out that 24-pounder unit. My Sipahis can probably come in to try and deploy a killing blow against the Prussians here. Those European mercenaries should fall. One howitzer needs to hit that Swiss pike unit. You guys just stand firm. So much Janissaries hit the Marines. Some of those guys are routing. My phone alarm's going off. Bring my Semats over here in case they need to hold the line. You guys get back into square. You guys reform your line. Run my cavalry back. My Janissaries have hit the Marines, but they're not better than the Marines. Starting to lose control. But we're winning on the right flank. So there is hope. There's quite a strong push here. I need to throw my... I oh know, you guys are not good. Okay, so our right flank is going to fold. I need you quick climbing how it says to just do as much damage as you can. Yep, 
You guys charge the Marines. Right, okay. You guys attack the Swiss Pikes. Hopefully you can knock them out. Good. You guys hit the Swiss foot. You guys hit the Swiss line. They're shattered anyway. Okay, Sipahi, go start to try and snipe some of these gun teams. Damn, friendly fire, quick climb, son. Okay, this flank is going to fold. Nah, charge into the Swiss line. Okay, yeah. This central position's done for. The howitzer's job is just to survive for long enough. Right, the in so the interesting thing now is where are my reinforcements going to come in? Okay, let's try to run my general through this gap. It's probably not going to happen, but just run through the gap and try to see if we can use my general to snipe some of their artillery. But where... Ideally, Delhi Horseman, wherever you are, these guys route first and allow me to spot where my uh, reinforcements are coming. Wait, is that... Yes! Okay, my reinforcements coming on here, where, those, where the Prussians were. So my Janissaries... Your job is to run up here and set up a new position. Same with my Janissaries. Just form a position that we can attempt to defend. Everyone else is done for. Except, to, of course, if you're Israeli. Or this unit of Israeli. You guys form into square because you're about to get charged. So the objective now... See, I don't know why my mouse freaks out like that at times. The objective now is to wait... Until we're in a position to... Actually, I might send my Delhi Horsemen, get them out here as well. Start knocking out some of these gunners. Because they've got a lot of artillery teams out here. Got some actual cavalry coming in. Who's this? Another unit of Sipahi. Not quite what we want. Especially not when they're in howitzer range. Let's get our... Ah, yes, that's what we want. Our own howitzers. Get back into square, you fools. I've not withdrawn you yet. My general died over here because I didn't actually target him anywhere. He just ran into these guys with their defences. Okay, you guys run out of the way. You guys need to barrel straight towards his heavy horse artillery. These guns can try and get up to the line. Good. More troops routing. You guys hit the mercenaries and hopefully intercept the fusiliers before these guys die on the way to the guns. Yes, Israeli. Run, 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 run. This is what we want. Steady infantry. 
Israeli might not be fantastic, but they are still good. Okay, Sipahi. Don't run too far. In fact, charge into the back of these Fusiliers to try and knock them out quickly. There we go, some elite Nizam infantry. You guys... Come on. You guys also run into position. Let's get the Sipahi in a position ready to counter-attack if they need to. Janissary Grenadiers. More Nizam. The second army is coming in. Come on, there we go. In fact, that Mamaluk unit, you go hit those irregulars. Who are you? Dismounted Dragoons. Okay, let's just break off. Break off this attack. It's not necessary. These men are all opening fire. Howitzers. Unlimber. Get that quick line going. Another unit of howitzers. Let's get you over here. More Nizam. Good. Our flank is being strengthened. Let's get the melee infantry on the left. Another unit of Sipahi. Don't want to, don't want to go too far forward because those are all enemy defences. We're now opening up on their men. And our traditional more traditional line infantry. Too bad those guys misfired. You guys are having a good time against those Fusiliers, but ignore them. More foot artillery. Try to get your guns up here to try and support that flank. Focus fire in the centre. You guys get out of the way before you get shot. You guys counter charge those hussars. Enemy on the left, engaging the mercenaries. These guys up here ready to face off against these other fellas. They're still coming in. They are still coming in, entering the field. Who's that all the way out there? Fusiliers, idle. So these guys with quick climb need to fire over here. You aim at those mercenaries. Okay, so they've got lots of cavalry and Jaegers coming in from up the hill. Enemy general's been killed. Their light dragoons have been emboldened. You guys start to smash these Swiss grenadiers. This is what we wanted to see. Start to roll the flank up. Where are the Prussians still? Quick line coming in. Oh, yes. In fact, this unit is too close to provide close support. You guys can start to actually fire on. Okay, you guys need to. Yeah, all charge that light foot unit. 
because it's just Jaegers. They've got infantry moving up behind, but I'm not overly concerned about them yet. So these guys can also provide fire support up on this ridge. So limber up, or unlimber. We will at least destroy this light foot unit, then retire because these are this infantry is a bit too strong for us. I could be chasing them down now, but or at least more so than I am currently doing. Get the Semat to charge the Lancer Guards. Quick line coming in. Maybe start pivoting my units a bit more, like this. So they've got a better angle for support. In fact, we may begin almost exclusively targeting these units with our howitzers. with our flanking infantry here we should be okay well we will dominate this section of the battlefield here no you guys aren't getting involved yeah round shot and fire in the centre. You guys fire round shot at. These units, you guys pivot to provide support. There you go. These Grenadier Guards are getting fired on from multiple directions, but they do look fantastic. Charge the Semat into them, actually. Let's try and win. Well, firstly, hit them with a general. Grenadiers are coming in. So bring my cavalry out to play. Make sure I'm targeting suitable units with my howitzers. Those can canister those Swiss grenadiers. Still got more men coming in. So there's lots of these. This cover I've got is actually heavy cavalry, so it's not exactly a free lunch. Charge them into the Swiss grenadiers just to make sure I get some good kills. Good kills. target our artillery I suppose to hit the center considering we're not actually pushing in that way one of you probably needs to start hitting that unit of fusiliers sat there or they're all on their own lonesome Probably not let you guys just start shooting our regular guys. You guys chase down the fusiliers. Yeah, just run them away actually. There we go, the battlefield is sufficiently clear that I can actually use my cavalry to 
start chasing down enemy routed troops. Yeah, they're all pretty much done. But you need light dragoons down here. Probably want to march these guys towards the fusiliers at least. Okay, you guys stop attacking them. You guys go after that superior line infantry. One of these units switched to round shot. Right, you can't really engage the howitzers. The uh, fusiliers, sorry. You guys can hit the light dragoons though. God, there's a lot of spikes up here. The Grenadiers are chasing down my... They're chasing down my cavalry. That's their preference. And it did. It worked. My men routed. Kill that one Grenadier before he gets to the cover of... those spikes. I hear mountain troops. You guys engage. Uh, round shot those like dragoons. You guys just start plinking that unit of grenadiers. You guys can kill that superior line. You guys chase after that unit of line. These Jaeger won't last very long. They're not really designed to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against foot infantry, so they're going to get cut down pretty quickly. So what's that, the fifth? So, sorry I've not been doing any, you know, close-ins in this battle. It's been a bit... <laughs> tricky. Uh, let's probably get these guys around the spikes. Ready to start to intercept some of these guys. Uh, where's the general? You have a good you guys have a good good attempt to mow down some of these infantry regiments. My Sipahi are gonna struggle to follow shift click commands. There go the light dragoons. The grenadiers are still willing to fight, but they're going to uh, be incredibly upset by our volleys. Bring you all over here. Chased on that singular Grenadier Guard that's evaded you. You guys can hopefully kill these three, two, one infantrymen. Good. And come after these Light Dragoons. Stop my artillery firing because it's actually upsetting my infantry now. If you're going to let any of them... If you're going to let these guys escape, that's fine. Just hit that Grenadier Guard. There we 
go. Fuse layers are routed. Everyone's routing. Damn right we're going to continue. Just for a little bit. Those fuse layers, I'm, I don't have a chance of chasing them down. Yes, fresh infantry has arrived. And then you're having a great time with those grenadiers. Good stuff. So the pivotal thing in this battle, I think, was the, the surprisingly good fortune that my uh, quick climbing howitzers actually started engaging the reinforcing Prussian army uh, before anything else, which meant they were all being uh, they were all being incredibly badly damaged long before actually making it onto the field. And these gunners are going to the route, but it's just a unit of demi cannons. We've already taken out their heavy horse artillery. <laughs> it says Peric victory, um, but it's a victory nonetheless. It might make us tactically Peric, but strategically major, um, because that's four, seven thousand men of theirs they can't replace. So this army's just lost their general. They're heavily depleted, and this army's almost intact. So. I've got the bones of my armies existing, roughly. There we go. So their fragments of their armies are falling back. And that means they have significantly fewer armies to actually protect the city itself. Which is, more or less, what we wanted. Oh, here come the Spanish up through... Up through that's Still part of Russia today. Uh, it's not part of Russia now. Mo ha ha ha. Um, so I think now's time actually a good opportunity to formally announce. Uh, don't get over excited. That instead of doing one hour sessions every 10 episodes. Because all of these campaigns I'm currently doing to world domination standard. I'm going to do it every 5 episodes. So every 5 episodes you will get um, our specials. I would have liked to have implemented this earlier. But actually I'd been... Uh, I've been away from my computer, visiting family, and today, the day you'll record, you'll be, you'll be watching this video. Well, it'll be released. You can watch it when you like. At 8 p.m. GMT. I am currently recording it at 8:54 a.m. this same day. So, this is hot off the presses. I, I couldn't get it recorded before I went home. I've been driving a lot this morning, and I've caught right. Let's give myself as much, much of the day as possible to record and get it uploaded ready for you guys. Then I'm also probably going to record my next episode, which is Knights of St. John Part 40. Um, so then I'm on to a good stint of actually recording pairs of half-hour episodes, which I can do quite quickly during the week um, after I'm working. After I've finished working, I should say. Oh, here come the Prussian Navy! Yes, well, they need all the help they can get. And notice, I've been jabbering on about my work schedule, but the Prussians are still moving. Look, they might, are they abandoning the, the, the Austrians at Warsaw? They could be. Uh, yes, the Americas. I always forget about the Americans as the Ottomans, but now I should have. Well, from memory, I do have territories in that in in the Americas, um, but I might be getting confused with with one of my other campaigns. Here come the Mughal agents. They're on their way back home. Um, not really quite sure why. But soon, I would like to start recruiting more troops in attacking. That's why Xandria has been blockaded by a first rate ship of the line. We're going to steal that. Probably with these guys. Um, but first. So lots of high tier buildings, which is great. Lithuania could get a weaver's cottage. You guys can get a palatial state. 
It's probably that one. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. Keep upgrading the military buildings. Yeah, you can have a pleasure garden because you're already upset. Let's upgrade a few of your, a few more of your industrial buildings, and you can upgrade to a palatial estate. So let's march. Keep marching, you guys up. Um, so this guy is the guy that took a right hammering. So Said Mehmet, you guys can replenish and move out of the line. Um, I could fill you up with some of these guys, but actually, all these guys have done really well. Um, they've they've deserved the ability to keep their. Uh, their men in their uh, experience intact. So you, okay, so Amid City, your army is at full strength. You can leave the city. Your army is damn near at full strength. But let's get you in the city. Ah, they're just out of range. But what I was hoping to do was use this guy to hit Alexander Plout. We lost 400 men doing that, allegedly. What I wanted to do was get these guys out of their artillery fort. Put them under siege. These guys can't get within range. Oh, they can. Oh, right. Okay. Well, you guys can get around here. Provide some support. You guys can go here to block any attempts to cross the river and head east. In which case, then, this arm, even though it's knackered, you can march up, because we've now secured the crossing. You're in good position, so you can move up this side of the river, maybe not to directly engage, even though you absolutely could. Uh, but... So let's keep these guys marching up. You guys march up to them. Then you guys have an ordnance board. So in terms of enemies we can actually hit. Well, oh, laggy times. Um, it could be ideal or useful to launch attacks on to launch attacks on uh, Tunis. Because then we then we take a, a Venetian territory which is at war with us, and we can also use this shipyard to help generate more fleet troops. Although actually, I'm probably going to attack. Oh no, hold on. Oh, I've thought this before. Oh, I'm not a fool. Dagestan. At some point, we do need to hit Dagestan. Um, but at the time where it tries, when we're at us, I mean, I know we're in a good position now. But if I can take Tunis, I can capture it, and then we can jump on Valletta. Although. Uh, well, I think, actually, because they're protectorates, all of these fellas do get involved. Rather than being... Um... So rather than it being bringing in an ally of an ally, if these guys were allies, then if we declare war on... Uh, if we declared war on... Oh, wait, hold on. Why am I saying declare war? Sorry, I've got completely confused. Okay, we're attacking the lights of St. John. They're a protectorate of Dagestan, but I'm fairly sure that means they bring in all of their protectorates. It's not like allies, where we would only be at war with Dagestan, I think. I don't know. I'm going to test this theory out when I declare war. And that does also mean we end up, if they do bring in all their protectorates, do they bring in the Iroquois? Huron? Inuit? No. Okay, the Iroquois. Allies with Austria and Britain. Um, well, we definitely will want an army to take Patras, just for completeness. Um, but maybe want to wait a bit before pushing down here, before we've uh, knocked the guts out of the Austrians and the Austrians and the Prussians. So we do want to steal this fleet, but I think what you guys want me to tee up for the next episode is this. Then we're going to assault the city of Warsaw, finally, but... Looking at the episode, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.